Hi, my name is Song Jin, and I'm a PhD student at INSEAD. And today I'll share with you a project, which is a joint work with David Dubois at INSEAD, where we look at the effect of slow motion in brand communications on how consumers perceive the product. And in particular, we're interested in investigating the effect of slow motion in advertising on the status perceptions of the product. Before moving forward, I would like to say that this is very much a work in progress. So I would appreciate any comments or feedback that you might have about this project. So there's a general consensus in the literature that creating perceptions of luxury is critical in driving purchase decisions in the luxury sector. And as a consequence, previous work has looked at various ways of conveying status to consumers via visual cues. For example, we know that including visual art in product packaging and product design can make the product appear more luxurious. We also know that, and this is related to what the first speaker discussed, um, consumers who desire status prefer pro products with more prominent brand identifiers. So larger logos and more distinct brand patterns. Conversely, for consumers who don't desire the status as much, they prefer products with more subtle um, brand identifiers or even no brand identifiers. At the store level, um, recent work has shown that when products are farther apart from one another in product display, um, the store selling those products is seen as more prestigious. And if you were here in the first session, we also know that dark colors can also convey status. Um, so we know quite a bit about the visual cues of luxury. However, we know very little about how motion might also influence consumer perceptions. And this gap in the literature is quite surprising given the rising importance of adver video advertising in today's multimedia environment. For example, a study found out that consumers on average are three times more likely to click on online video ads compared to ads in other digital formats such as mobile. We also know that consumers learn about brands and products by watching these video ads. For example, in a, in a recent study, 64% of participants indicated that watching a marketing video on Facebook um, influenced their purchase decisions in the previous month. Moreover, over 50% of internet users indicated that before they purchase a product or service, they actually visit, uh, before they, sorry, before they visit a store to purchase a product or service, they look up online videos of that product and service. So given these recent trends, there's a clear need to have a better understanding of how the different characteristics of motion might influence consumer perceptions and behavior. So in our research, we try to address um, this gap in the literature by looking at the effect of slow motion on the status perceptions of the product. And the idea behind this research project came about from our observation that luxury brands seem to employ a lot of slow motion in the advertising. And an illustrative example would be Dior's Jador ad in 2004. And as you can see, we see a woman moving sensually and slowly in liquid gold, as well as the perfume, which is the target product, rising slowly from underneath. So based on this observation, we wondered whether slow motion might influence consumer perceptions. So across a series of studies, we find that using slow motion in advertising increases status perceptions and as a consequence enhances uh, consumers' desire for the product. And in this research, we um, measure the desirability of a product by looking at um, how likely consumers are to recommend the product to other consumers. And this is based on past research, which has shown that premium brands generally generate a higher level of online word of mouth compared to non-status brands. So I will present to you a total of four studies. In the first three studies, we try to establish the main effect by showing that slow motion enhances um, status perceptions and in turn on um, consumers' desire for the product. And in our last study, we tr begin to address the why question by looking at one of the potential mechanisms that might underlie this effect. So in our first study, participants were randomly assigned to either the fast motion condition or the slow motion condition. And consumers were told that they would be watching a video clip of a, of a perfume that was supposedly made by Burberry. And as you can see, the, the video clip in the slow motion condition was three times slower than the video clip in the fast motion condition. 
After watching the video clip, participants rated the perfume on three items, prestigious, um, luxurious, and high status. And these three items were averaged to form an index of status perceptions. And we use the same measure uh, in all of our studies. So results indicate that as consistent with um, uh, our hypothesis, the perfume in the slow motion condition was seen as of higher status compared to the perfume in the fast motion condition. So this result provides initial evidence in support of our hypothesis that slow motion confers status to a product. Um, and so in our second study, we varied the product. So this time, participants saw a ring that was made by Chanel. So they either saw a quickly moving ring or a slowly moving ring. Um, this time, the ring in the slow motion condition was um, four times slower than the video clip in the fast motion condition. And importantly, um, we repeated the video clip in the fast motion condition to, so that the length of the video clips across the two conditions would be uh, almost identical. So this helps us to rule out any alternative explanations that are based on the different duration of the video clips. After watching the video clips, participants again rated the ring um, on status perceptions using the same items. And we also told participants to imagine that they had. Yes. You used four times slower, and the previous one you used three times slower. Yes. Did you experiment with different speeds to essentially see there's an impact? So we did uh, have a study where we varied the speed, so two times um, slower, three times slower, four times slower. And although the results weren't that cle clean, well, we see a general pattern such that the slower it is, uh, the more high status the product appears. I'm worried about the confounding mm -hmm. in terms of maybe the fast sort of moving one. Mm -hmm. People say, hey, this is too, too much in a hurry. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, right. So the one I would like is, to, is somebody who is not in a hurry to show, right? Yeah. There is a probably an association saying they don't have the time to actually so produce it for 30 seconds versus 10 seconds. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? So right. I'm just, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you might come up with some reason why one is working better than the other. I'm just looking at the speed itself. Mm -hmm. It's too hurried for me. I mean, yeah. Um, and, and it might be that Chanel is, doesn't have the money to actually sort of put up a slowly well-produced uh, thing. You see what I'm saying? So it may be that, but I'm, I'm just saying whether it's a confound because of that or there's something else going on. So two things about that. So um, regarding the, so here we match the length of the video clip. So it's not about the, the brand not having enough advertising expenditures to spend on longer ads. So that this rules out that explanation. And, but I, I, we, we, I definitely agree that we should look into whether this effect is driven by fast motion as opposed to slow motion. And so we should definitely run additional studies to have a better idea. Oh, sorry. Um, so here par participants were told to imagine that they had a female friend who was looking to purchase a ring. And they indicated uh, how likely they were to recommend the ring in the video clip to that friend. So results indicated that, again, the ring in the slow motion condition was seen as of higher status. And participants in the slow motion condition indicated that they were more likely to recommend the ring, in the, recommend the ring to the friend compared to the ring in the uh, fast motion condition. And status perceptions mediated the relationship between um, motion speed and um, recommendation likelihood. So far, um, we have argued that slow motion confers status to a product. And if this is indeed the case, we should expect the effect to appear uh, for brand communications by luxury brands for whom status is relevant and important. Conversely, for um, non-luxury brands, we should expect the, weak, the effect to be weaker because for non-luxury brands, status might not be as relevant or important. So to test this idea, the study two employed a two by two between subjects design. So participants saw either a quickly moving ring or a slowly moving ring. So this video clip was identical to the one used in the previous study, except the ring in the fast motion condition was not repeated this time. And the second experimental factor was uh, the brand type. So participants read that the ring was made by either Chanel, which is typically seen as a luxury brand, or by Forever 21, which is typically seen as a non-luxury brand. And again, after seeing the video clip, participants rated the ring on status perceptions using the same items. So when the ring um, was made by Chanel, we replicate the facts such that the ring in the slow motion condition is seen as of higher status. 
However, when the ring is said to have been made by Forever 21, this effect disappears. So these results provide some evidence that um, slow motion confers specifically status benefits, and these benefits might not be that relevant for non-luxury brands. So in this last study, uh, we, begin to, we begin to look at one of the potential mechanisms by looking at the mediating role of savoring. So our idea is that slow motion might make a product or the experience associated with that product appear more savorable. And this perceptions of savorability might in turn enhance status perceptions. So first, let me focus on the latter link between perceptions of savorability and status perceptions. So this link finds support from previous literature, which has shown that um, luxury products are seen as um, provide, providing primarily hedonic pleasures and hedonic benefits. And indeed, consumers describe their consumption of luxury brands as a highly hedonic experience which can touch all the senses. But what about the first link between um, motion speed and perception of savorability? So previous research has shown that when consumers savor an, an experience, they tend to slow down. And this is because savoring, by definition, uh, involves taking the time to fully appreciate an experience. <laughs> and in previous research, um, researchers have measured the amount of time taken for consumers to complete an experience as a behavior measure of savoring. So for example, when consumers savor a piece of chocolate, they slow down and take a longer time eating that piece of chocolate. Similarly, when um, consumers savor their experience at the church, they spend longer time at the church. And recent work has also suggested when people savor nostalgic experiences, they, their processing speed slows down and they tend to prolong the time they reminisce about those nostalgic experiences. So in our research, we test whether the reverse relationship might hold true at the perceptual level, such that presenting products in slow motion might trigger this impression that the product or the, or the experience associated with that product is more savorable. And this perception of savorability, in turn, might enhance status perceptions. So to test this idea, um, in our last study, we again randomly participants to either the fast motion condition or the slow motion condition. And they rated the perfume on status perceptions using the same measures. And more importantly, participants, we also asked participants to report perceived savorability of the perfume. So here, we first gave them the, a definition of savoring and then encourage them to consider the experience that they might have with the perfume, such as taking in the scent of the perfume or marveling at the uh, design of the perfume bottle. And then they had to indicate the extent to which they expected to savor this experience. So results indicate that, again, the perfume in the slow motion condition was seen as of higher status. And more importantly, the participants indicated that they would savor the perfume more in the slow motion condition. And this perception of savorability uh, mediated the relationship between motion speed and status perceptions. So this provides initial evidence that perception of savorability might be one of the um, underlying mechanisms. And we are now in, in the process of conducting additional studies to test the robustness of this mechanism. So the key takeaways of our research, um, we show evidence that slow motion can enhance um, status perceptions, uh, especially for brand communications made by luxury brands. However, this effect is weakened for um, brand communications made by non-luxury brands for whom status benefits may not be as relevant or important. We also show evidence that slow motion might help a brand spread fast by increasing uh, the likelihood that, cons that consumers would recommend the product to other consumers. And finally, um, we show very preliminary evidence that perceptions of savorability uh, might be the underlying mechanism. Um, that's all I have for today. Thank you for listening.